Hey, what's up? I'm making this video to, to explain to you why I chose to become a, a vegetarian or a vegan. Um, hopefully a fruitarian, but right now I'm at the vegan stage, you know. Uh, and I'm going to make this video to explain to you guys why I, choose, I chose this, you know. Why I chose to be a vegan. And like, as I said before, um, being a vegan or saying that you're a vegan is kind of a privileged attitude because we're in a society now where we can say what we're not going to eat and what we're going to eat, you know what I'm saying? And just to be in that, in that kind of um, position, it's kind of privileged, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people and you know, these... Um, these other societies that are not as advanced as America, they don't have all, you know, the resources and stuff. A lot of these places, they can't, they don't have a choice of what they eat and what they don't eat. They just eat and what's ever there. They eat whatever they're available, you know what I'm saying? What's ever they're disposed to that is food that they eat. Um, in America, I feel like we are, you know, somewhat privileged to say that, well, I'm going to be a vegan and I'm going to be a vegetarian and I'm not going to eat this meat, I'm not going to eat this dairy, I'm not going to eat this... Because a lot of times when you're in a situation of life or death, like a lot of country people in other countries are used to eat what's ever there. But I also I also think it just shows how far humanity has come along, how far our civilization has progressed. There was a time, you know, when we were just we ate anything. We didn't care about our natural well being. We just ate to, we just ate to live, you know what I'm saying? We just, you know, ate whatever was there so that we could live to the next day. But we are at an advanced stage in, in our development now where we have enough food to feed everyone on this planet. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying. We have enough food on this planet to sustain everyone. We can grow food. We can grow fruits and veggies. That's the thing about fruits and veggies is you can grow these things. You, don't, you can't grow meat. I mean, you can catch that shit, but I mean, but like, um, it's not sustainable long term. Fruits and vegetables are more sustainable because not only are they giving us the best nourishment for our bodies, but the earth... We need, to, we need the trees to get rid of the CO2 emissions in the air. And that's what fruit trees, like we planted fruit trees all over the earth. Do you know how amazing that would be? But a lot of people don't understand that, they, that we, right now we are destroying our environment. With all this meat production, destroying our um, topsoil with all this um, grain production and stuff that, you know, is just not really to the best of our, you know, health. It's not, it's not, it's not health to us at all. Um... We have come a long way in human evolution. And people can say, you know, well, back in the old days, in the Paleolithic days, people ate, you know, meat and stuff. And we're still, you know, we've evolved to eat meat. I have to disagree with that. I believe that we ate meat because there was nothing else around. And I'm not dissing anyone that, that eats meat right now. Because, honestly, I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my parents and my ancestors eating meat. Probably at a time when there was no other food around. And they ate meat to sustain themselves. So um, to say that I'm knocking meat eaters, don't don't get it twisted. I'm not knocking you guys. I, just, I mean, we have all been brought up in a society where meat is a staple a part of our dish and a part of our um, food, especially in America. America is heavy on meat and heavy on dairy. Like you look around America, you see like oof, you cannot eat a meal without having some meat up in there. And we've grown accustomed to this. So to try to even become a vegan or vegetarian is a hard ass step to take, especially when you're in America. But for people that have decided to try that out anyway, no matter how hard it is, and just not give up on it, I give props to you. I give props to you for, you know, standing up for what you believe is right. And, we'll, and anybody that stands up for what they believe is right, I have the number of props to, you know. I believe that this is the way to a better environment and a better future for us. I believe that eating healthier is a way for you to express beauty, not even outward, but inwardly as well. You know, when you eat correctly and your body takes all that in, you, you express radiance, you know what I'm saying? You express health and everything. And... To me, this is, this is one step for us. We have to get out of the Paleolithic days we ate meat. I know there was a time we had to do it. But right now, I don't feel like we absolutely have to do that. We're way too advanced where, you know, um, we, don't, we don't have to kill to eat. We can just eat what, what, what's, what comes naturally to us to eat. And, um, and that would be getting rid of meat and dairy. So that, that was one of the main reasons that I chose to become vegan is I did my research on, on the topic. And um, I do feel like we are naturally frugivores. Um, just look like I said, look at our anatomy, we're naturally food boards. And fruit is our natural diet. But vegan is, I'm right now because I can't give it, I'm still addicted to cooked food. I'm not 100% off of it yet. But uh, I will get there sooner or later, hopefully. I know I will. It's just a matter of progress. Your body goes through changes from time to time. And for 23 years of my life, I've been eating meat and stuff like this. So it's going to take a long time for me to get off of it. But it's going to happen. You better believe it. Um, right now I'm a vegan. And I'm going to be that way for a while. 
until I, I feel like I have the strength to switch over to free print. That's what I'm going to be using. So, another reason that I went vegan was health wise. I looked at all the benefits that you get from becoming vegan, like the um, the energy, the renewed life you get, the, 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 um, the mental clarity, all of these things. Uh, to me, the benefits outweigh anything you possibly say negative about being a vegan or about changing your diet. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you have to be a vegan in order to be healthy. You eat what you want to be. Healthy is more of a mindset than what it is a physical way of looking. So I just want you guys to hit me up with your comments. And have you ever even thought about being a vegan or vegetarian? If you haven't, that's cool too. Just let me know what your feelings is on the vegan and vegetarian lifestyle. Um, and why you think it will improve our world or not improve our world. Peace and love till next time.